Just a little proof of concept here that the silencer can actually be equipped to the submachine gun, even the infinite one. Before... After... Not quite as pronounced a difference as when it's equipped to the handgun, but I guess maybe it has its uses. But still there's something so satisfying about the full volume of this thing. Just as a proper show of how good this thing is even against insane cancers, since the one on the subway was a little bit clumsy. Yep, it's already dead. It didn't even get its recharge phase. That is pleasant. So here at the Hilltop Center, they do introduce another minor item fetch quest, though it isn't even as much of one as the scenario that got introduced back at the mall with the bleach and the detergent. We're up here on the fifth floor, in the hallway behind the Gallery of Fine Arts, the same hallway where we get the katana. Going this way, however, we find... a broken door, because suddenly it decided to turn that way, but more importantly, we find a screwdriver. I've already done everything else up here ahead of time, so let's go ahead and go back to where we need to use that. Time to make our way back down to the third floor. And from here we need to head over to Monica's dance studio again. Now on easy riddle, uh, riddle difficulty, this drawer was already open and they just gave us the rope. But on normal or hard, the drawer's open just a smidge. It must be rusted or something. I can't pull it out any further. Hence the screwdriver. It's a rudimentary tiny little crowbar. And thus we get the rope in just a slightly more complicated way than we did last time. So, hey, apparently the reference is there. I guess it only happens on a New Game Plus, though. The mailbox is empty. There's no letter, from a dead wife or otherwise. Well, I don't have one of those anyway. Well, nice to know that. So, fighting the missionary. Apparently there's something amusing about the missionary that I did not know that was brought to my attention. He really needs you to have the light on to find you. So long as you don't stand in any of the direct lights around the rooftop, he can't find you. so you can just wander around in the dark forever. Of course, to make things even more amusing... Yep, that's that.
Here in the second floor storeroom of Brookhaven Hospital, we have a few things to check out. First off, oddly enough, is this fashion magazine. In the first playthrough, she didn't think much of it. But on a new game plus, it's a fashion magazine. There's some kind of a memo stuck in it. Extra costume password. Touch my heart. So hey, we have a new costume password. What does that mean? <laughs> it means the fourth wall is breaking down even more, my dear. We also, as usual, get the nail polish remover and the perfume. So due to the nature of the ending we're after this time, we need to kill as many enemies as possible. Part of killing as many enemies as possible is spawning as many enemies as possible. So we're going to see what the perfume does. Nothing so far. Still no nurses in this area. But it's time for another normal mode puzzle. There's a typewritten memo posted here. What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. <sighs> oh man, math puzzle. This one took some figuring. These particular clues... Yeah, I'll let you run through them. They give an idea of how the numbers all relate to each other. You can start eliminating certain numbers as being possible for each one that way. These clues are a bit more concise and to the point. Four of the numbers are not repeated. That means all four parts of this code are different numbers. Three are not in the top row, meaning one is. Two are not in the right row, meaning two are. And one of the numbers is the final key. Now that I'm not sure if they're just saying that the final number that you get is the answer, or if what they're stating is that one of the numbers, one, two, three, or four, happens to be the final button you need to push, because that is how it works out. Going through these codes, we find out that the only way that this seems to actually apply to every single clue they give you is the answer 8634. Thus, 8 is larger than 6, 6 is twice 3, 3 is smaller than 4, and 4 is half of 8. They're all different numbers. 8, 6, and 4 are not on the top row. 8 and 4 are not on the right row, and 4, being one of those four numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 4, is the final button you need to hit. So then, eight, six, three, four. We're still going to keep recording here a little bit to see what the nurses are going to do. Uh, shouldn't be any problems for this bad boy. So what we got? Really? Two? That's it? I'm disappointed. I expected this hallway to be packed with them. Maybe it just means they constantly respawn? Well, we certainly have plenty in here. Actually aiming down to finish them off, that can be a bit tricky. That wasn't the room I needed at all. 
And they didn't respawn. This was the room I was after. Start time is the key, also changes on normal mode. This time, there are no actual numbers on the clock just written out. I mean, of course, other than the normal numbers you'd find on a clock. But you actually have to tell time yourself. So, looking at what we have here, it looks to be about 824. So that one's only slightly trickier. I did equip the perfume, didn't I? I was really expecting more nurses than I'm seeing here. Hmm. Maybe it happens later, or I'm missing the point of it or something? Uh... Huh. Unless something happens later that really clues me in, if anybody wants to comment on this and tell me what I'm doing wrong, or if I'm just misinterpreting things, please, by all means, let me know. I was really expecting more of a showing than that. So, as much as I've been playing through the hospital, I still really haven't noticed a change in the number of nurses other than just a few more here and there due to it just being hard mode, and even then, not much of an extra group of enemies. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Here in the basement of the Otherworld Brookhaven Hospital, it's time for a puzzle that wasn't even here on easy mode. The oven door is closed now. Locked, in fact. And the only clue we get is this, which, uh... I can't really imagine is going to translate too well once YouTube finishes processing this video. What we basically have here is a 4 by 3 grid, and we have Roman numerals. A 1 in the upper right, 2 in the lower right, 3 kind of in the middle, and 4 in the lower left. This corresponds to all these gurneys with bodies out here. Using the grid as kind of a rudimentary map, we have to look at the numbers on these bodies and put them in order according to what was shown on the door. So the one marked number 2, that was where Roman numeral 1 was. Next is 0 then four, and finally, our old friend Stanley, number seven. <laughs> Creepy as ever. Thus, our code is two, zero, four, seven, which we put in on this convenient padlock. Thus, we can open up the oven and get the cremated key. This is another one that just gets completely changed around and made uh, quite difficult on hard puzzle mode, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> 